not going to sell a single share under 100,000. I believe in this that much. I know the DD. I know where we are. And I know where we are going. All that happens now is we wait. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe a year from now, but it'll be worth the wait. Guys, comment down below your current price in mind and where you're feeling like you would want to sell some of your AMC shares. Let's get a read from the community. Whatever happens, we're ready. We have the playbook. Whatever happens, we know their play. We know what we have to do to counter it. It's passive for us at the very least. Keep buying and keep the pressure building. I'm no financial expert, nor advisor, but I think it's going to be a combination of things to push us to the MOS. Dates are a distraction. They only lead you to dark thoughts and disappointment. Just stay the course and live within your means. Patience is the ultimate virtue at this. Reread and the DD from the smart apes and filter the BS. Ignore the FUD and do what you think is right. We got this apes. So a little piece of knowledge from someone like me that's been holding onto my shares of AMC and of course down quite a bit on my position. At this point, like I said a long time ago, I consider the shares absolutely worthless until the MOS happens. The shares are down. Obviously, I'm down a decent amount of money. It doesn't make a difference to me, though. I've already kind of wrote the shares off in my head. And I'm just going to wait till one day I open up my brokerage and see the unthinkable AMC skyrocketing. I can hold longer than they can say solvent. This ape said, short positions are secured against long positions. Long positions drop harshly and the shorts have to be closed to reduce exposure to stay within margin. So I'm sure at this point, a lot of you guys understand how this all works, but when you're dealing with a big portfolio, you have short positions, you have long positions, you even have crypto positions, let's just say, you have to make sure that everything's balanced out, especially when you're dealing with leverage, especially when these hedge funds have so much margin out, which we've talked about over the last year, these hedge funds are dealing with more borrowed money than we've seen collectively in the past 100 years. Things are getting crazy and we're seeing that across the markets. It's almost like we predicted the whole thing. 